Right, well I'll fill you in with the details in a minute. Um, we've landed at the lake a couple of hours ago and I literally found a clear spot, put a rod on it, put a bit of bait on it as you do, as you're getting ready and uh, a bit of lightning was going on in the distance and yeah that storm come right over us, it was pretty epic and uh, just before the storm hit us uh, the rod I'd done went off so it's a good start but it's a bit of a bit of a stressful one because uh, it was uh, get it in quick and uh, get in the uh, get in the van for some shelter. So a perfect start to the trip, albeit the storm we had to dodge from. Uh, this is 38.6, so a mega start. Rigs working, baits working, and it's all looking good. So uh, before this storm comes back, I'm going to get this fish put back and. Uh, get the rods done because uh, we'll forecast storms for another couple of hours and hopefully the night's going to be okay. There you go, so that's my first 40 of the trip. 41 mirror again on the S7 like I say and I'm definitely not going to put this rod back out if it goes again I've done it but if it goes again it's not going out I pulled the left hand rod in to be fair because that that fit when I have a bite off that middle rod they're, they're going through the left hand rod so I pulled that left hand rod in so I've only got two rods out now and uh, if that left hand rod goes again it's not going back out because I do need a little bit of sleep Right guys, well, I've been fishing in France a long time now. It was the late 90s when I started coming out here. But I can't remember an opening night like this one. So we had them 230s and then the 41 and then I did the rod like I said I would. And uh, got a little bit of sleep, about three hours sleep. So it's about three in the morning now. And I've had one of the A-teamers. There's a... Uh, he reckons there's about 1750s in here and I've got one of them, it's a 52 pound common, it's an absolute beast of a fish. So I am, uh, I am getting on a bit now, I'm approaching 50 rapidly and my back is no good for stuff like this anymore but equally I'm not complaining, what a start to the trip. You know it's just good to get off the mark when you're in France, I always find if you just get off the mark on the first night that'll do, that's a bonus but to have one of the big ones absolutely mega and like I say that S7 I'll take it anyway it's absolutely outstanding bit well, there he is we'll get him put back donkey This is on the S7 rod, the rod, the rod that's done most of the bites. Now, the bug rod I've moved because I wasn't seeing fish there, so I don't think it was getting a fair shout. So I've moved it a bit further out onto a clear patch, but uh, the clear patch that this one uh, came off has, has done me a fair few bites. But uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just put the fish down. I'm going to fish really hard now. The reason being, you know, yeah, all right, I've had a, I've had a really good start, but equally that doesn't necessarily mean it's going to stay like that for the week so 
while they're here or while they're having it I'm gonna make hay because I've had it before you know where you think oh yeah I'm nailed on for a good week here you have a few and then it goes quiet for a few days I'm making the most of the opportunity I've got and uh, yeah I think I'm gonna get another bite today by the looks of it Would you believe it, middle rod again? Uh, I'm not going to take this one out of the water. I've just knocked it in the mat here. I'm just going to pop him back. He's about upper 20, something like that. 27, 28 pounder. There he is. Like I say, we're not going to uh, we're not going to get him out of the water. He can go straight back. Well I had a 10 minute break and I did have a cup of coffee and it's gone off again. It's 35 mirror, pretty one this, got a few scales on it, the others have been pretty plain. Uh, I don't know what to say, I'm getting there, uh, I'm repeating myself. I'm just going to carry on doing what I'm doing I think. So normally when I'm filming in France I like to get a bit of wildlife and a bit of what's going on and a bit of the lake and I just haven't had the opportunity to because that middle rod's just been it's ridiculous this is fish number 12 and it's Sunday night you know the bailiff's just been down <coughs> bailiff's just been down to see us we've had a burger and a beer and I did the rod put another 12 bombs on it because uh, I want to try and keep them here but like I say I don't I don't know whether I actually need to look at that it's getting ridiculous. I've had, uh, like I say, I've had 13 fish. I've only had two or three twenties. The rest of them have been 30s, 40s and that 50. It's just incredible. I've never had fishing like it. I'm speechless, I don't know what to say. I sound like a broken record doing this. I honestly don't know what to say. I've never had a session like this. You know, I've had good sessions in France. I've had plenty of good sessions, but nothing quite like this one. Absolutely amazing stuff. I'll get another lead out, I'll tie another rig and I'll do the rod. It's about eight o'clock now so I've plenty of time to do the rod. We'll get ready for the night. nice 29 pounder and this one was on the bug and this is the first fish that I've had on the bug so yeah the S7 and the bug is working for me now so bang on we'll get him popped back get the rod redone and we're having chilli for tea tonight so I'm looking forward to my tea it's 
sort of warm welcome to this edition of my vlog. Uh, yeah, the French special, we usually do a, a film out in France every year. We was, this one, we didn't know what was going to happen. Is it going to, you know, do we need to isolate? How many jabs do you need? Do you need to do a test here? Do you need to do a test there? Can you? But it's been, yeah, but we're here. We finally got here. We've done all the uh, passport control measures that you need to do to get in and out. And uh, we've got here. So, yeah really good before we talk about the fishing we we came on the wednesday this time we spent some time with a friend who's living out here who's sorting a, a lake out and uh yeah we had a few nights out at a, a trip to lac de dare as well which is good you know i had a cycle around lac de dare yeah so that was good so we had a bit of a relax before we actually got to the lake so as normal we landed here on one o'clock on saturday and uh it's quiet obviously because there's been so many cancellations the lake's quiet there was, I think there was three or four anglers on when we got here so they'd, they'd been here the previous week so we didn't say let's do a draw kind of like they were fishing at the uh, the narrower narrower end of the lake so we kind of like thought we well, you stay there guys if you're happy we'll come down this end and because actually there was a bit of method in that because i knew this wind was going to turn because it was blow it was blowing down there so it was blowing a westerly and it was going to turn easterly on Tuesday which is Tuesday today and it has done so it's actually been really good so what happened we landed here very weedy um, I've chosen not to use the boat this time I've chosen to cast and spot and uh, yeah I found a clear spot in the middle and a lot of my leads were landing in weeds so I kind of like found a clear spot it's Saturday that'll do so put a bit of S7 on it and it just went ridiculous I couldn't keep that rod in the water. It was, it, it, it was. I've been coming here a long time, and I'm probably into in excess of 40 trips to France now. I've never had anything like this. And look, this is this isn't an, this isn't a difficult lake. Let's let's get that clear. But it's not an easy lake. You would class it as moderate, intermediate kind of lake. Couldn't keep that rod in the water. They just turned upon it, and they were just smashing that S7 in and. It was ridiculous so we are now tuesday morning actually last night was the calmest night we've had i only had two last night um tuesday morning we're on 22 fish which is crazy we've had a 50 we've had a 440s i think i'm on 1230s yeah mega mega fishing so this is actually the first time i've filmed something that isn't a fish because <laughs> literally we've been sorting the rod out spotting having a sit down and bah, it's off again and like but you know it's, yeah it's just been crazy so yeah so what's going to happen now is the the swim has calmed down a little bit i've actually just had a fish but they're not every two hours or every hour you know they're every three or four hours now so i think they, they are calming down but now the wind has turned blowing into this bay i'm not sure i'm not sure whether they're going to turn up in numbers or whether it's going to stay a little bit more steady which you know yeah i want to catch fish but i couldn't have continued like that all week i'd have burnt myself out so that's where we are at the moment we're um we're just going to fish for the rest of the morning and then we're going to go into the town this afternoon and get something to eat and have a have a coffee and sit in in victory square which is always nice do a bit of people watching and uh yeah we'll get back just after tea time in, in time to get the rods out and uh yeah we'll see what tonight brings us been a really quiet night tonight there's uh, not been really hearing much one or two fish down to my left hand margin across that tree line but nothing in front of me so far but the the banker rod has gone so that bait I put down this afternoon has drawn a few fish back in this lovely 31 pound mirror so I'm really pleased that the fish are still in this bay because I was beginning to wonder if like the majority of them had pushed out you know because obviously with my spotting etc I have been disturbing it but uh, there are one or two fish still in here which is good naturally the bites have calmed down from what it was earlier in the week which is uh, 
what I kind of expected anyway. So I've just um, I just put the rod back out and I've put some more spods on, four or five spods on, but I'm up in the liquid now. So I'm just pouring neat S7 liquid into the spot with a few boilies just to try and you know create that attraction and draw a few more fish back into that spot again. So it's three o'clock in the morning now and uh, we'll see what the uh, we'll see what the rest of the morning does for us. Right, well we've got one on and uh, it's weeded me up so uh, that's that's three out of the 20 odd fish that I've had so the weed, the weed, the plumps of weed are really bad so if you get in one, uh, actually it might be coming through it now, I've just left it on a semi, semi tight line so it might pull out the other side of it, the bail is coming down with the boat, I'm just going to have a, let's have a feel and see what's happening here. It's still solid, we'll just have to get the boat on it. I don't think it's gone in far, if I'm honest. Might not be a bad one. Right, so the bailiff's gone out on the boat to the weed bed. And uh, hopefully you can free it out with the back on again. And it does feel a good fish, to be honest. So I'm just going to hold the semi, semi tight line so he can uh, get some tension on it and if it if it if it kicks out I want to be straight on it and pull it this side of the weed. That's the plan. <laughs> Think, hang on. Yeah we're moving. I think, I think we're out. Just get it this side, come on, get out this side. Yes, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We're out. Don't want to give it too much, it's a good fish this. And yeah, the rod's gone off again and it's a nice one. So it's a cracking 36 pounder. And like I say, the rod has, uh, rod has gone a little bit quieter than what it was, but it was like ridiculous earlier. So it's calmed down a little bit. So I'm just gonna keep uh, topping the area up with bait. And hopefully we can just keep the fish here. They're not gonna stay here all week. This isn't gonna be all week. Hopefully, you know, we can uh, reap the rewards of it while they're there but they're not going to be there all week doing this or I, I'm not going to have any leads and I'm not going to have any bait left so potentially I'm going to fish one rod tonight because the other rods just haven't done anything today and uh, about midnight was the last time one of them rods did anything so if the middle carries on kicking off I'll just pull them in because I'm having to work around them as I'm playing these fish so if that's the case I'll pull them in and just fish the one rod Six pound on that middle rod and yeah I still think there's a chance of one of them big ones you know I'm catching like this it's calmed down from what it was but still when you're catching like this you think 
there's a chance one of them big ones might be about and the way they're going through this bait there's every chance I could get one but we're going into town this afternoon for something to eat so I'm going to give the swim a bit of a rest put a load of bait in when we leave clip my lines up so when we get back it's just single casts and we're on the spots for tonight so I'm going to rest the swim this afternoon because it's been a bit chaotic So after a very chaotic start to this trip, it's actually calmed down a little bit now. Um, I had three last night and one fish this morning, so uh, that, that is quite calm all things considered. Yesterday I had plenty of fish during the day, today I haven't had a fish, so yeah, definitely calmed down. Uh, the fish are still here, I just think they've just moved off that spot a little bit, so actually it's been a bit of a <laughs> bit of a break for me if, I, if I'm honest, it's been chaos. So yeah, we've had a bit of a chill day. Uh, but this afternoon I've done a little bit of work because I've been catching on one rod and that rod's brilliant if that's carrying on catching like that I don't have to do anything with the other rods because I can only cope with so many fish obviously but now that rod's calmed down I'm starting to look at other spots in this bay and, and seeing what I can do with my other two rods so I'm actually walked one swim down and I've put a rod out here I found a really nice clear patch not that far out I've spotted to it and put a rod on it and I've also, in line with the rod that was doing all the bites, a bit further out at 24 wraps, I've found another nice clear spot because there's a lot of weed in here. So I've got two new spots going. So I've kind of put as much effort into my other rods as what I have been doing the rod that's been flying. Because if that rod doesn't do any bites, I've got to adjust. I've got to do something. So that's what I've done. Uh, I've, I've put a fair bit of bait on, on all three rods, if I'm honest, tonight. I want to keep the fish here. I don't want to move them out this bit. I want to keep them in here. So I've given them a bit of bait over all them three rods. And hopefully, fingers crossed, tonight we can get back into the fish and, and you know, get a few bites again. So, uh, so we'll see what happens tonight and uh, I'll let you know in the morning what's happened. continue to produce fish so as long as they're there I'm going to continue feeding them there and they're loving the S7 uh, yeah what can I say this one 39 pound fish number 20 so big fish Thursday resulted in a 46 pound mirror but it was kicking off it was kicking off in the sling and I brought it onto the mat and it was kicking off and it was really thrashing about and I'll be honest I was a little bit concerned about it and it, I couldn't calm it down so it was just uh, I didn't get the camera out on it we just got a phone shot of it and put it back um, 
at the bailiff was here as well and uh, we were both kind of like saying yeah it's not happy and uh, I've got plenty of fish pictures this week I don't need another one so uh, that one went back without being filmed and I'm glad about it to be honest because it was just occasionally you get that and I, I, to be honest I only really get it in France I had it not last year the year before I had it where they were just absolutely going mental on the mat and thrashing about so I kind of thought nah we'll just get it back so that was Thursday uh, Thursday night, um, not good. I lost two fish on the bounce. Well, one through the night and one in, in the morning, which uh, it's a little bit strange because I haven't dropped any fish. I've only lost one fish this week and that was in the weed and we was out in the boat, like I said earlier. Uh, all the others have been well hooked and I've got them all through and it's just been really good. So to lose two is strange, but equally I'm not complaining because across the course of the week I've, I've done really well on that front. So Friday today, last night, um, it's just been quiet. We've seen the odd fish in this bay, but not a lot, really. Uh, um, I don't know. I, I actually had a cycle around the lake, and I was kind of like expecting to see fizzing and fish activity, but I didn't see it there. I don't know. Maybe, maybe they've just had a calm down or, or what, but the rods are done for tonight. Uh, it's like I say, it's our last night, so if I don't um, catch anything tonight, I'm going to sign off this France special, which has been an incredible week. I've had 32 fish over a thousand and fifty pound. So I think I've had six forties, a fifty, sixteen thirties. Been incredible fishing, all on the S7. Which you know I, I keep saying it, it. It always does me well when I come out here. So yeah, big wraps to DNA Baits for looking after me and giving me a really, really good product to use out here. So like I say, if I don't catch anything else tonight, uh, we're going to start packing the van down, get things almost ready to go, so we're off in the morning. So if I don't catch anything tonight, uh, I'm going to sign off. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog and I'll catch up with you all soon. Okay, so the rod has gone off once more. Uh, and this is going to be the last fish of, uh, of this trip because I'm going to put the rod up and uh, get some sleep ready for the travel in the morning. So last one of what's been an incredible session out here in France. Lovely 34 pound mirror, which is, uh, like I say, the last one uh, icing on the cake of what's been a really, really incredible fishing session out here. And uh, yeah, one that I'll uh, <coughs> remember for a while. But now it's time to uh, put the fish back and get some sleep and get ready for the travel in the morning. Thank you.